Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 17 here on Blake Farms, your host here lately not the most, Mr. Blue aka Tommy Miller. How's my YouTube family doing? Y'all doing all right? Well, uh, I'm doing good now. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm going to start off. We're down here on field 24, which ones that uh playing this map is not going to be listed but it's down here got seven stars and i think junior is driving this tractor um yeah junior is driving it okay hold up right there oh don't crash in the truck junior i might have to fire you that is my fault or i couldn't hit the b button fast enough Folks, we gotta refill her this tractor. Or him, I should say. Sorry, Junior. We got the uh blue jet ripper here. And then we got the uh John Deere over there on the case ripper. But uh yeah. Gonna be doing some uh farming down here on field twenty four. We got plowing to get done, which we ain't got much as you can see. Got a spray, then cultivate. And then to get the planter back behind the cultivators. Uh, folks, this field is going to be grass. We are going to plant grass. And this is to show you here for all the the nerds out there on my channel that wants to see the figures. Uh, grass, 37 degrees. Um, we can plant all the way up to last day of fall. And then, uh, yeah can't do nothing in winter but come spring looks like the last part of spring maybe mid mid spring we can start harvesting grass and all this grass is going to go uh in our so-called bga bunker over there we're gonna fill it to the max as much as we can get uh, we do have to make grass bales and hay bales out of it for the cows, but uh, I'm pretty sure after one season of having this field grass, we can fill that bunker up and get some silage out of it. Uh, but yeah, we got uh, seven stars over there on John Deere. We got Junior and this one getting filled up, which he is filled up. Um, get this right here moved out of the way. We also got Bama Girl Amy taking care of her cows. Um, sorry folks, couldn't have nobody with sheets right now for some reason. They don't want to keep a straight line. Let's park this truck right here for right now. And, um, uh, we also got Boo. Uh, yes, Boo is back. She's down there in, uh, the big group. Uh, let's see who's going to take over now. No star reviews. No star reviews driving the tractor now. Let's see if he turns the right way. Been having problems with this tractor not turning the right way. It wants to go back and do what it's already done for some reason. I don't know if it's tractor or the plow. Okay. All right. He's working good this time. Okay, but yeah, that's what we got left is this strip and that strip and where the John Deere is over there. And um, our planter has stopped. Let's go up here. I don't know, remember who was driving it. Uh, that's why it stopped. Oh, did I miss the spot there? We'll come back and get that on. Let's see if it'll take off work. Oh, I know I don't own the field, but can you just like, go forward a little bit? And also, folks, I'm going to explain why I've been out. Just in case you didn't see the other video, I am working on... I'm recording this before I'm making the video that's going to go out before this. If that makes any sense. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot I had I thought I was driving it. All right, hard worker. We got Jacob doing that. Okay, who was it before? Anybody catch that? I couldn't tell, folks. 
so much stuff on my mind right now. And here's the sheep. For some reason, you can see it, it moved that out of the way. For some reason, there's a hill right here, and I can't seem to get it to go away. I went in GE. And Bama Girl Amy is doing great on the cows. Uh, oh. Yeah, here we go. No star reviews. Got like a, a round to do. Um, yeah, we gotta get this started too. Um, let me go over here. We got um, this bill that was here in front of the shop that was corn was done, and I went and cut this field of corn. And uh, yeah, I've been a little busy. I was going to go ahead and plant the grass, but I'm like, man, I'll just go ahead and come in and do an episode and talk to y'all more. Just in case some of y'all didn't see the other video that's not out yet. But we'll be out when this when y'all see this. So yeah, kind of confusing to me. <laughs> but anyway, folks. Had some bad news. It, it's getting better. Uh, I just uh, got to take care of myself a little bit better. Uh, last few videos you saw was already recorded. So I just went ahead and edited them. And uh, I'm going to make a, a round across this end before I get started on this. Hope it does pretty good. But we'll find out. But anyway, um, yeah, a couple episodes ago, uh, was already recorded, so I just edited the damn, um, Long Oak Farms. Uh, I'm sorry, probably going to have one or two episodes missing. Uh, some of the work i done, uh, was in the middle of editing them, and the power went out. The second time was a scheduled power outage that I knew about, but I forgot about. And 9 o'clock in the morning, electric went off for about 5 hours. And both files, both episodes got uh, corrupted. Um, went back to try to do the, what I had saved, and it just didn't seem like it was going to do anything. So I really don't know what happened. But anyway, um, to get to my personal problem, why I've been out and not been recording the stuff is I thought I had a chest cold. I went to the doctor, you know, he gave me some medicine for, you know, for, for a chest cold. He gave me some cough syrup and some science medicine. Um week two later I was still feeling bad feeling crappy couldn't do nothing just laying around the house uh, throat was my voice just wasn't right still ain't quite not right but um, come find out it wasn't a chest cold uh, it was something else folks I think I'm just going to do this and that should be enough room to turn around And I'm going to get going that way. Uh, that lighter brown over there is where I sprayed, uh, spread out the cow's poop, which I haven't checked on here lately. Alrighty. But anyway, um, come uh, another couple weeks. We decided to lay a floor in my mom's trailer in her front room that was uh, kind of rotten around the air conditioner area and where it was, I guess, started leaking or whatever. So, you know, we're like, hey, you know, we're going to go ahead and put a whole new floor in and uh, go from there and which was no problem, you know. I cut plywood before and never had no problem. But I'm allergic to cedar, folks. 
can't be around cedar trees or, or any dust or anything from a cedar at all. I'm highly allergic, um, which triggered another thing. Uh, yeah, I'm having a hard time explaining this. But anyway, we, we done the floor from like 11.30 to about 2, uh, somewhere in there. 2:30. My mom left to pick up my kids from school. I went uh, had my cousins help me bring the furniture and stuff back in, and they left. I'm gonna go ahead and hire work on this. We got Jesse. All right. Um, but anyway, had uh them to leave and then I took me a shower um, you know by that time the kids was home and so I was sitting on the edge of my bed after you know I had my PJs on uh, probably four o'clock in the evening around that time um, but anyway I sat down on the bed uh, my son said I, I passed out I don't remember passing out I remember waking up I'm laying down I'm like what the heck happened you know and I went in the bathroom to trim my beard and shave it up I actually shave my beard completely off but I didn't get around to that because I started getting a lot of snot and my nose built up and losing my breath it's like I just couldn't breathe like an elephant was standing on my chest so I come out I was fixing to say something to my mom because she's in the kitchen cooking I, I couldn't get a word out it's like I just couldn't breathe and I started to fall backwards just looking at my son was behind me and he catched me not falling all the way and uh, anyway to make, speed the story up I was allergic to cedar and we had a, a sheet up blocking the kitchen from the bathroom and you know the rest of the house so we can heat and cool different than the other parts and that sheet had some sawdust on it and when I went to raise it up it blew in my face or something because as soon as I hit raise that sheet up to go in the bathroom it was like a brick hit me in the face and you know my eyes started getting puffy and you know the snot started coming this is it, like I blow my nose and it just kept on and kept on coming getting thicker and thicker and I guess it cut my air off where I couldn't breathe and which that's usually what it does but this time around my nose started bleeding so um uh, I blacked out. My son said I, I got up, stumbled out the back door, and got to my truck. And I was pouring blood everywhere. And he said that I told him to get my medical bag and got the oxygen out. Uh, they called for an ambulance. Uh, time ambulance got there, which they done a good job. Uh, but I was laying face on face first on the ground with the oxygen on and just a puddle of blood in my oxygen mask and uh, the ambulance picked me up took me to the uh, ER that was the closest about four or five miles away uh, stayed in there till I, I, I really don't know I was out for a little while but uh I woke up and everything and started asking me a bunch of questions and all of a sudden my blood pressure dropped uh, 30 over 60 and uh, so they called bird in to transport me which I was too big for the bird you know my stomach's too big like about two inches this luckily my blood pressure came back up and uh, they transported me to st. Bernard's in Jonesboro to come find out that I had a trace of a heart attack 
So I was in the hospital for an, a day there and they finally released me. But that's only because I had to take my mom to Little Rock for uh, her evaluation on her sinus surgery. So, but I'm better now. They put me on a strict, a very strict diet. Um, Got to watch my sugar. Um, sugar been running about 280, and I've been, just, you know, not eating right, not exercising, stuff like that, and depression, and I guess it all got to me, and. Well, anyway, uh, so I got that problem, which I'm 41 now. Back when I was 28, I had a, a, a pretty much the same thing. Uh, I had a light heart attack from stress uh, for the situations that was going on back then, which I got better and been better ever since until now. And uh, I'm going to get better again, folks. Uh, uh, prayers are appreciated. And uh, sorry I've been out so long. But uh, things happen. Hey, I think our other tractor is done. Let's see if I can... Oh, no. Oh, I forgot about the combine, folks. Seven stars. I'm going to have to uh, stop you there. Right where your aunt. I need to finish up this in here, folks. Across here. And then get that little bit over there. I still got Boo waiting at the market with the big brute. I forgot about her. But anyway, yeah, that's what's been going on. I had a, uh, a, a trace of a a trace or a light heart attack, ever how you want to call it. And um, that was October the 9th. And here he is. Uh, 23rd, I believe. October 23rd. I have to go back October the 30th and the 31st uh, to the hospital for a uh, stress test on my heart. And it's different from back when I was 28. Back then, i uh, done a treadmill for about 10 minutes running. Oh, come on, lay down. And uh, that was it. But this time around, I have to do two days, four hours each day. And I can't eat nothing or, or drink anything. I can't even have a sip of water. I uh, can't take my medicine or anything both days um, till they get their tests complete and then I can eat and take my meds then they want to do another hour's worth of tests so really don't know folks but at least I'll get to know exactly uh, how much damage was done and what I really need to look forward to in the future uh, what kind of actual diet I can do because this diet's killing me right now folks it's uh, <laughs> I know it's for the best I need to be on it but just going from the, you know pretty much eating what I was wanting to eat to oh crap raise up not paying attention here folks but uh, just, you know, going down to barely eating at all. I mean, I'm strict. No caffeine at all. And I got to watch my servings on what I eat. Which, you know, that's what I'm supposed to be doing anyway, right? Diabetic. I'm supposed to be doing that. So I just really got to stay on the ball this time. Um, take it more serious. Life is serious, folks. You, you, you got to, you know, whatever you're facing out there, look look to God, folks. Uh, you know, some people don't believe 
some do um, I'm a believer in God and you know if you, you don't like it uh, you know you just have to deal with it folks uh, I ain't gonna get all mad if you don't but you know respect that I do I'm gonna get this little piece right here folks and then turn around and get that and I think I'm gonna do a jump cut I'm 20 minutes in so I want to show y'all some uh, fertilizing some uh, uh, planting too so I will be right back and a snap of my fingers for y'all but maybe an hour or two for me. Well, maybe not long. Oh, probably about 20 minutes to finish this plowing. I got this here, that right there, that strip, and then the ends cross down now on that end. And I'll be done with the plowing. We just got to do the cultivating. You know, I, I saw that. Why did I do that? Yeah, y'all didn't see me hit that right. I didn't think so. All right, folks. I will be back in just a second with the big brute and uh, some cultivating and planting, hopefully. All right, be back in a second. All right, folks. Welcome back. Told you I'd be back in a second. We currently got the big bud spraying. Oh, we're filling up. Up here at the top, we got Colin Julian Vlogs taking care of the sheep. Uh, Jason taking care of the cows. We got the rude man that looks like he's full. We're going to go to him. Granny Monsters over here in 15 plowing. Uh, from here to here wasn't plowed. I did put that little strip that was down through here. Plowed it. And this needs to be plowed, so. Um, we got Jacob down here on the, uh, big brute, and, uh, that's about it for now. There's Jacob turning around, and I am full. So I put this down, let's go ahead and finish this round, or this through right here. Actually, matter of fact, I'll come back and finish that. I gotta get one more guy, or get this tractor hired out, and then the one that made the first through is hung up on the trees down at the far end, so I gotta get him uh, back going, and I'm gonna take this guy over real close, because I want to get the planter going right after these guys, so um, yeah. We got one spot down here that didn't quite go well. Finish it out. Um, but yeah, I told you my condition. I am actually recording this part the next day because it took a little time on the plowing. But got it situated, you know. Didn't take all that long. And my button's getting wore out. Now, see, it just raises up right there for some reason. Oh, well, we'll get it with the other tractor. It's a little bit faster. Probably want to go with the telephone pole and start. I yeah, some things came up yesterday while I was recording this, so I just had to pause it and finish it today the next day of course all right hard worker and looks like max sand all right max sand uh i hope that's going right looks like it's going to go in an angle but we'll, we'll see i just gotta find a tractor oh the combine would be stopped there And that's okay. Just have to fire a rude man. 
because we got the construction mod on which makes it more realistic so yeah it, it kind of hurts sometimes you know I know other farming simulator we could just drive out in the crops and unload but yeah we don't want to do that so I probably got about eight minutes to spare so I'm gonna try to get that planter going Um, I don't know if we can mow this or not. We still got quite a few stalks sticking up. I'm going to try to put a mower on it. But that would be another episode though, of course. Alright, there we go. And our semi-truck. While we're waiting on that unload. Has 55,774 55, liters. Oh, what's that? Bushels. Mm, liters. Yeah, I put everything back to liters. So, this is our last cornfield we got here, folks. I'm going to just, uh, hope we will get it here. Let's go with this. As you can see, I'm trying to get uh, some more wheat going and uh, try to get the grass planted. As far as the corn, we still got quite a few days left on it being. So we're not in a hurry on the corn. But we are in a hurry getting those things planted because, yeah. So that's why we're doing a little bit of each. Oh, 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 get back over, get back over. Yeah, is that right? Yep, that's right. There we go. And we got Mr. Yankee driving it now. Woohoo! Go, Mr. Yankee. Here's our planter. But instead of just taking forever, I'm just going to hop in. 7800 oh my god what are you doing oh I didn't need that gotta start it up what are you doing over here in this guy's field Woof. I think I'm gonna make a, a turn across here what it is because the trees are right here and that first through goes all the way out they pull all the way out and when they turn they get hung up on the trees I have no idea why they do that, but, oh, yeah, these trees going to have to go. And this thing here does not want to turn right. Watch me get hung again. No, oh, okay. I'm not going to plant that far over, but we need to fill this ditch in. You can bury your tractor in that right there. Whew. Which, that's the way they uh, usually are. I ain't done the ends down here for the big bud, so uh, I'm going to have to stop right here. Which ain't too much. All the ends on the others. <laughs> all the end, The ends on the other end. Yeah has been done so we don't have to worry about that Jacob should turn around pretty good uh, Max Sand should do all right after I get this right here done I need to be leveled right here you can see there's quite a bit of dirt on the level but yeah we got one two three four five five people working fixing be six as soon as I get this and hire it out and uh, as you can see we're 36,000 in the hole but that's going to change I thought it was going to be this episode but it might be the next episode um, the bees are on 400 liters so another 100 liters I can cash them out well I should have enough for a truck load and if we cash them out we're going to start on the uh, tomatoes and cucumbers for a pumpkin and uh, see who we got 
Dark Light Gaming. All right, folks. All these people are gonna be or YouTubers are gonna be down below in the description. So don't forget that. Here's Granny Monster. She ain't got too much to go. Um, when she gets done, we gotta come in here and spray this field, and that will. Oop, wrong button. I wanted this button. We'll go up here to fruit types and go over to soil composition. And you can see this right here is the max fertilizing. This is the second and this is the first. So we got to spray this again to get it to match this. And then we'll come in, plant it, and then spray again. And it'll look like this blue here. Like a six, top half of five and nine, ten and eleven. Uh, we got to come back to this and get it sprayed and they'll be ready to, oh no, it's already planted. Uh, we just got to finish spraying it and then we got to spray seven and buy eight, spray four and finish up one, two and three after we get this and done. So a lot of work to do, a very lot of work. As you see here, all this is planted. And don't worry about seven much grass. Uh, five below and 10 and 11 is wheat. Well, I'm gonna have 17 and 15 wheat. Uh, this 24 right here is gonna be grass. 18, we just might let it lay out for a little bit. And uh, this down here, I think it's going to be layout ground until we can plant uh, something else. Just in case these don't come off in time. So that's the plan. Got a load of fertilizer. Um, I might have to get some seeds populating because we only got one pallet left. I know they ain't going to plant what we need to plant. So, yeah. But other than that, folks, I think, uh, oh, Lordy, yeah, I think I ain't going to worry about that little piece right there, but I, yeah, big brute didn't go up there for some reason. I don't think that's, oh, crap, turned it off. For some reason, I don't think it's a field up there. It won't detect a higher work or anything like that, so. And this is where I wish I could shut off my left boom and just run my right boom. And there's anybody out there that does modern and, uh, vehicles, y'all can get me the spray add-on with the big brute. I would really, 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 really appreciate it. But anyway, um, yeah, um, I need no. Oh, I got. Don't hold up. I gotta go over here, folks. I need to get the planter started, but I'm gonna let these uh, cultivators run for a while because it's gonna take them a while, and that planter's just gonna demolish them if I don't give a gap in between there. So, uh, and plus, I gotta go to appointment here in a minute uh, to get my some of my test results back from my family doctor uh it won't be the other tests uh for the heart or anything it, those are october 30th 31st when i take that test but i'll get my like my cholesterol and actual blood sugar and all that from my family doctor today but i have to go up there and, and uh, see him and get the results so I'm going to get off here, and uh, I will see y'all in the next episode, and we should be rocking and rolling with the planter and finishing up the corn. And, uh, yeah, well, I'll see y'all then. I hope y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and folks, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and share me with your friends, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.